The Netflix show Pandemic has been getting a lot of attention lately. The documentary series focuses on the doctors and scientists on the front lines battling influenza and trying to prevent a worldwide pandemic from happening. News 8's Kelly Hesedal spoke with one of the scientists featured in the show who is now working on a drug to treat COVID-19 patients. Well, Dr. Jacob Glanville is part of this Netflix docu-series, Pandemic. At first, he wasn't sure many people would watch it, but it happened to debut in January, right around the time COVID-19 cases really started taking off. When we talk about another flu pandemic happening, it's not a matter of if, but when. It's a frightening yet real look at the struggle doctors and scientists go through trying to prevent a global pandemic. We're making a vaccine that could treat all future versions of flu. Dr. Jacob Glanville, a computational immunoengineer, is featured in the now very popular Netflix docu-series, Pandemic. Tell me what you think as far as the protocols that are in place. Are we doing enough or do we need to do more? I know this feels scary and it feels kind of intense, but we are way safer now than we were a week ago. So these measures are really going to help us slow the spread of this virus. He's been following data models from China, South Korea and Italy. So we are no longer on the same trajectory as Italy experienced. There is still an outbreak and we're still going to experience doubling um, for the next few weeks. And that's because this is a silent disease in many subjects that we, they don't experience symptoms, but they can be infectious. We are anticipating that over the next four to six weeks, we are going to run into problems in many hospitals throughout the nation on being able to have enough ICU beds to treat the patients that are coming in. Does Southern California need to take the same steps that Northern California is doing? Should the entire United States take the same steps where, you know, you're basically in, in isolation, what, for 24 hours a day unless you absolutely have to go out to go to the grocery store or the pharmacy? So realistically, yes, and that's probably going to take place over the next two weeks. There is a population of people that seem like they don't show symptoms or they show very little symptoms. And we don't fully understand why that's the case. Um, but it's also for, it also is the case that there are young people in their 20s who could die from this. So it is not safe for anyone. It's also not a death sentence for anyone. His prediction for California. I estimate California will have 40 to 50,000 by mid-April. And those numbers could be 10 times that by May. But I will, I will remind you that we watched China go through an exponential growth phase. And then their social, social distancing measures managed to slow the growth. They kept their, their numbers under 100,000. So it's not inevitable that you have everybody get infected with the right social measures in place and the right treatment. Uh, we can protect our population. And Dr. Glanville and his team are working on a drug to treat COVID-19 patients. Human trials could begin as early as this summer, and he's hoping that a drug would be ready by this fall. Back to you.